guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Irene and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this simple everyday style makeup look. I've listed down all the products in the description box and I've also kind of mentioned them in the video. I hope that it's easy to follow and that you guys enjoy what you're about to see. Okay, so I've already set my eyebrows in place with my got to be ultra glued gel. I'm now going to conceal my eyebrows and I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey. I don't really put anything on my eyebrows to fill them in because they're already quite full and I like them to look as natural as possible. That's why I do the um, the edge control method on my eyebrows. So since this is the first video on my channel, I thought that it would be a good idea to do a get ready with me. And yeah, let's see how it goes. First things first, my name is Irene. I am from Zambia and I am 21. My birthday is on the 22nd of February. And I enjoy doing makeup in my free time. Literally when I'm bored, I'll get up and do makeup. When I'm in a bad mood, I'll get up and do my makeup. Even just if I want to try something new, I'll try something new with my makeup. So this whole makeup thing started as a joke. I didn't think it was going to get to this point. But it started as a joke because I decided to teach myself how to do makeup. And as I was teaching myself and learning new things, I obviously became better. I wouldn't say good because I'm still learning, but I became better. And um, my friends were like, why don't you just start? Well, I thought about it and then my friends were like, why don't you just start um, like a makeup page where you post your stuff? Because I used to post them on my private Instagram account. And then I was like, yeah, I don't know. So then I actually did. And then they were the first ones to like follow it. And then it started growing and growing and growing. And then I was like, okay, this thing is not too bad. Maybe I could actually get something out of it. So then I decided to take it more seriously. And here we are now, started a YouTube channel. That's basically how this came about. And if you don't already you can follow my instagram page it's looks by irene underscore i'll leave the name in the description box i'm not going to set it with the revolution big and blot press powder in the shade beige i'm just going to take a fluffy brush go through the concealer again and blend it out to make sure that there's no creases and then i just dab over it Now, once I've set the concealer that was on my eyelids, I usually go in with my bronzer just so I could add some warmth to my eyelids since I'm not going to be wearing any eyeshadow. And I just take a fluffy brush and I literally just run over my eyelid. So just like that to warm it up. I don't know if you guys can see the difference. And then I do the same on the other eye. And that's basically it. I usually add a wing liner, a black wing liner, but I thought I should spice it up a little bit and make this look somewhat interesting. So I'm gonna be doing a wing liner, but a pink one. It's like a pastel pink. I've never used this before, so let's see how it goes. I can't believe I'm actually drawing this wing liner on camera. Once upon a time, I never knew how to do this. That's it, basically the wing. I'm gonna go ahead and finish it off off camera. 
and I'll see you guys when it's done. Okay, I went ahead and finished off my wing off camera and I also added my lashes. These lashes are from Tea's Makeup Store on Instagram. I'm sure you'll find them and they're in the style Tris. I will leave all the information down in the description box, but you don't want to miss out on these lashes. Okay, now I'm going to prime my skin. With the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Primer, and I'm just gonna rub it in. And then I'm going to use the the Hydrating Longwear Foundation. This foundation. Let me not even say anything. And I feel like it works best when you use the primer as well because it's obviously the foundation that's supposed to go with the primer but it's incredible like I'm obsessed with this foundation I haven't even had it for a year and it's more than halfway done where was I with this get to know me I can't really remember but let me just go back so I've lived in Zambia my whole life and I went to St. Columbus before it became Kids Paradise. And then after that, I went to Baobab for literally reception to grade, I think was it six or seven, six or seven. And then I left and I went to South Africa, I went to DSG in Grahamstown. So I started grade six and then I went all the way to matric because I finished high school in South Africa. And then I went to Coventry in England. What else about me can I say? My dad's a twin and I'm the oldest out of what feels like 500. My family is very big. And we're very close which is nice i make sure that i have blended out my foundation perfectly this foundation is it is to die for and i'm in the shade 385 and it's literally perfect it melts into my skin I'm going to conceal and I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Butterscotch and literally a little goes a long way with this concealer. I'm just going to take a damp beauty blender. Jokes, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let my concealer sit for a little bit and then I'm going to apply my contour and I'm using the Black Opal foundation stick in the shade Beautiful Bronze and I basically just put a little bit here. Also, I'm wearing a cream blush today and this is the Fenty Beauty cheeks out freestyle cream blush and it's in the shade daiquiri dip and i just take my finger and apply it when you're working with cream products you need to apply them on first before you set your face so with this cream blush that I've put on I'm going to blend it out with my contour and then I'm gonna blend the concealer into the cream blush so that it like balances it out I'm gonna take a brush and I'm going to just blend out my contour I will leave all these products and the shades in the description box as well as the um, where I got the brushes from in the description box in case any of you are interested i'm 
for you just blend it out i don't know how this get to know me is going because there's really not much to know about me just blend that out i might put a bit more let's just see how it goes oh i might go over it with a normal um powder blush but for now i think that's good This YouTube thing is hard, man. I don't know. You know, when you watch it, you think it's easy and that like, you can do all this stuff. But like, when it comes to actually doing it, when you have to sit down, set up the lighting, set up the things that you're using, think about what you're going to say in the video. I'm struggling. <laughs> I'm struggling. I'm not even done filming this. It's okay. We'll get there with time, as they say. But yeah. I really like this this wing. I think my concealer has been on for a while, so I'm just going to take a damp beauty blender and I'm going to blend it out. Starting with my chin. I do the under eye last. So I do the chin, then I go up and well I basically go upwards. But yeah, I think that's all I've got to say in terms of getting to know me. But if there's anything that you guys would like to see from my channel, like specific tutorials or any of that stuff, just comment it down below. And you can also follow my Instagram. There's a lot more content there since I did start off there. So you could go and look there. And you can DM me any suggestions for my YouTube because we about to grow we about to grow and make them money i'm just going to take some of the concealer that's on here and i'm just going to do a little bit of a reverse contour start with the blending here and then I like squeeze the beauty blender a little bit like this so I can get into the inner corners of my eyes. Then I start off by pressing it into the inner corners and then I like drag it outwards. Like just look what it does. I love this concealer. I'm gonna do the same this side. So start off this side. I'm blending that out and then you go in a corner okay now I'm going to set my concealer with the one and only powder that I trust to give me the look that I want and it is the Laura Mercier Translucent Honey Setting Powder. Tap off the excess and then go back into your concealer with your beauty blender and just make sure that there are no creases before you set. And I literally make sure I keep my face like this so it doesn't crease. And yeah, there you go. Look at how. Stop getting excited and actually finish this. Okay, I have set the rest of my face and now I'm going to go in with my bronzer. I think this bronzer is from Clean Color. And then I'm going to use the brush that I used to put the bronzer on my eyelids. I'm just going to go back into that brush and dab into my bronzer and just bronze my face. So I start off by my forehead and I drag it out. This bronzer is very pigmented as well so 
literally one dab I think I'm done with my face now. Now I'm going to set my face. Make sure you're done with literally everything before you set your face. So I think I'm done. And I'm now going to set my face with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I don't know if you can see how this setting spray just brings everything together. I love it. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna start highlighting my face. I'm gonna start on my nose and just blend it out with my finger. And then I go and highlight my brow bone area. And then I I used to apply my highlight like here, but now I just apply it here on my cheek and then like blend it upwards until like here. So I'm gonna do that here and then just stop right there so that it's more concentrated on my actual cheek. So when I smile, it like shows there. Okay. Yeah. There's the highlight done. I'm going to move on to my lips now and I'm going to line my lips with my Wet n Wild Brown Eyeliner. And I'm now going to go in with my Gloss Bomb in the shade Ruby Milk. And there you have it. I think I'm gonna go in with my gloss bomb again, but in the shade Fenty Glow, just because I'm obsessed with lip gloss. I'm just going to put that over. And there you have it. So this is the final look. It's very cute, very simple and very doable i would say i hope i made this video easy to follow please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel i'm very excited for this journey that i have started thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye